I'm afraid that we may have hit a red line. And I'd like to explain, because it may be um, uh, important to understand the position that I adopt. Uh, I was asked to conduct this inquiry and to produce recommendations. Uh, there is a big issue as to whether judges should conduct inquiries, and there are both advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are, uh, as I said yesterday, uh, that uh, you have the experience of a fact-finding about past events. That's what I've done as a judge, and that's um, a role which, in which I've been involved all my working life as a barrister and a judge. Secondly, a judge has the ability to deal with procedural and legal complexity, and also to conduct a hearing to time, to keep people focused and to ensure that one isn't taken down um, diversionary tracks which take a lot of time. Thirdly, the skill, I hope, to analyse a large amount of data and to produce recommendations based upon evidence and bearing in mind competing legal considerations, which I've already mentioned in this case, Articles 8 and 10 particularly. The other uh, problem, if you like, or advantage of appointing a judge, it's both an advantage and a problem, is that the judge comes with absolute independence. And that's a problem because for me, I would not have undertaken the inquiry had it not been for cross-party support, 